Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, primitive. Let's use the uh, gemstone primitive. See what kind of trouble we can get into there. Let's hit the, nothing happened, so let's hit the numeric button. And there we go, it pops up. Okay, so once again, you can change the uh, axis, the poles of the actual uh, <clears throat> the uh, primitive the gemstone tool. Um, let's uh, okay. So center. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. I mean, you've you've got the crosshairs. You can move them around in all the different windows, or you know, you can do it. The sliders drag right and left. You can type in the exact position. Okay, you've got radius which basically is the thickness, so kind of neat. Let's uh, pull this back. Make it go on the Y, actually. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, then we got symmetry which, so at the lowest level is three, that's what it looks like there. Um, and I'm not exactly sure, I'm not a jeweler, but these may be, some of these uh, parameters may be jewel, jeweler terms, because the way that, we'll pretend this was like a diamond or a ruby or something, and the way it's physically cut, okay? So you got the, the, the symmetry that creates more polygons, okay? We've got the crown, and that is basically the height. Whoops, showing the height of the uh, so it looks like it only go can go so low. Whoops, not sure if I messed with something that okay, let's uh. Let's go reset. Actually, I'm going to delete that one and start over. Gemstone. Okay, why? Okay. So, okay. So you can do the, uh, you can adjust the crown by grabbing on this little circle, going up and going down. Or, like I said, the slider. Okay, for some reason it wasn't working, so that's why I kind of reset it. Um, and then we have the girdle, which is this little rounded edge. And like I said, these may be uh, jeweler terms. Don't punish me if I'm incorrect on that, because I'm not a jeweler. I wish I was. <laughs> um, probably make a lot of money doing that. Um, So anyways, that creates that thickness on that edge here. Um, and then the table, table setting is the actual top of the diamond or the ruby. Okay, and that changes that. Um, if you grab these edges, you can change the overall shape very dramatically, very quickly. Um, this new, the numeric tab or numeric display is a little bit more accurate. You can change the parameters a little easier, much more in, more on an individual parameter. Whereas some of this stuff here does too much uh, adjusting all at once. Whereas you can isolate things in here. Um, so we also have the pavilion, which is the bottom. Okay, bottom of the uh, the diamond. You can grab this and just pull it up or down on its own, or once again. And uh, it looks like you also can create UVs inside of here as well, which is kind of cool. Okay, so we are going to move on to the next primitive.